Hello everyone, and uh, back with a review of this kit, the AGS04 Guerrero Tetra from the Henry series of Gundam Double A3 Stardust Memories. And here's the mobile suit, and let's just show you about the instruction manual. Uh, pretty cool looking with the paint build. Uh, only several weapons for this guy. Uh, the 100 mm machine gun, machine cannons, which is on his arms, which are these things right here. Do, 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 do. There you go. Yeah, inside there, that's one. It's like double barrel machine gun kind of thing. Comes right here. Inside the manual, showing some action poses for this guy with the attached booster. Some shots of it uh, from the anime, and the kids right here. Um, I still need to get the Dendrobium, which comes with the GPO3S, and I believe for GPO3S they only have it in uh, the high grade form. So probably will get that kit. I have the RG for those these two guys right here. Of course, I have the HG right here, and then this one I have it in the RG. This one I have also HG. And here's the camper. Camper I have it in somewhere in the box, but it's not in the display yet. And uh, yeah, it's just the back of the manual, you know, pretty basic stuff. You have four style pens, those uh, butts, boosters on the shoulders, you know, the double the beam savers it has. And here's just the action shots holding the beam machine cannon. The beam machine gun, I mean. Yeah, they call it beam machine gun. Okay. Here's just uh, some images and those two uh, Gal Group Marines at background, in which I have also right to break the third from the third row right there. Yeah, that guy right there. Yeah. <laughs> Here's just a paint guy of the regular colors that you want to paint in. And yeah, let's look at box for us. Very nice shot of it. You see a Dendrobia right there chasing after this thing. You know, side of the box, your normal HD stuff, you know. The front of back shot, some shots of the cannon, like the machine, the 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 weapons and hands, as you saw already. And this kit cost me around like uh, 112 bucks, Hong Kong dollars, which is 13 around 13 dollars uh, USD. So a very cheap kit. Okay, let's put this arm down for a second. Here's this booster. You just touch it back, but if you have this thing, because it's too long, so I didn't put it on. Attach it like that, just like that. It has like pegs, a main peg right there, and uh, two two smaller pegs. One's on top and two on the bottom. Stickers there, me for his uh, back and front camera. You get these two black ones that fit into uh, on his face, the back pieces. Yep. Just some left over Holly Captains, two beam savers. And uh, yeah, I just did the basic uh, some panel lining on this kit, not much. And uh, I think it looks good like this. You know? I like the weapons, you know, I think the legs are pretty cool. The only problem with this is like these two pieces right here on the shoulders. This is how we get connections, so it always pops off. And uh, yeah, uh, other than that, I have to glue those on. But other than that, it's a pretty nice suit, you know. Of course, you have to color in these boosters to look at if you want to have it like, uh, you know, kind of accurate. But I like the shot right here, I like the back also, I like the front. I like this kit actually. Not a lot of like um, weapons, but I think it's okay, you know, for what it is, then it was alright. Yeah, so 
I'll see you in the next one and uh, also the review of the this kit right here, the NT1, which is, I'm just, I'm just assembling the the turret the armor right there. Yeah. So okay, without further ado, see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.